And welcome back to the Silver and Black Radio Podcast. I'm your host, Raider Hill, and I'm here with my crew. I got my boy, All In, from TBH Dallas. What's up? I got my boy, Gunny Raider, in Las Vegas. What's up? I got my boy, Matty B, and co-captain of the ship from TBH West Co, baby. What up, fam? What up, baby? All right, guys. Today we're going to talk a little bit about, hey, the possibility of five quarterbacks going in the first 10 picks. Also going to talk about the new hip drop tackle rule and the kickoff Mm. tackle rule and how we see this affecting this season. Fellas, so before this thing came on, man, we were talking and we said, hey, there is a possibility this year of us actually seeing five, maybe even six quarterbacks drafted in the first 10 picks. All right. Now, that would mean that the Raiders, if we don't move up from 13, we're out. We're out of a quarterback. Or we have to move into the top 10, and we have to make a move. Guys, all right, we were saying, hey, we we already see Jaden Daniels, Caleb Williams, Drake May, one, two, three. Uh, are, Are we saying... Hey, the only guy that can probably sneak in there is probably McCarthy. Uh, 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 do you guys see something different, or are you guys on the same page on that? No, that's what I'm seeing. All in, yeah. same thing? Yeah, I think, and I think McCarthy can jump. Uh, I, I think Williams and Daniels are a lock for the top two. I don't know what order that'll be. Obviously, everybody assumes it's going to be Williams and Daniels, right? Uh, but I, I think... I think uh, McCarthy's going to jump Drake out in North Carolina. That might be a possibility. I, I, I can see that happening as well. Matty B, what do you think? Uh, I could see it going that way, but I could also see some, like, mix-up too, you know? Like, I could see Caleb Williams falling, you know, like a couple spots. You know, just, I mean, hold on one second. Sorry, my kid walked in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries, bro. Um, yeah, no, I could see like something. I could see like Caleb Williams falling. I mean, this the annex and shit that he's been pulling lately is like it's, I don't know. I could just see some some shit, you know, some team just looking at him and being, nah, I don't want that guy. You know, we're gonna pass on him and go with you know like Jaden Daniels. Uh, you could be uh, you know Drake May maybe in a JJ McCarthy. You know, could probably go within the top three. I wouldn't say maybe Drake May not necessarily, but. Maybe you have Caleb yeah. Williams fall to pay, Patriots at number three, you know? I, I can Everybody see that as well. I mean, go to the Bears or the Commanders. I can see him go to number three, you know, and follow the Patriots. Yeah. And I'd be like, if we see that, you know, like, again, we're saying, hey, man, we're still seeing about four quarterbacks still taking in the probably first four picks. I mean, if you see the Vikings, they're loading up on first-round draft picks. I think they're going to try to make a move to move up to that fourth pick. Arizona's open for business. That's what they said. So if you're open for business at four, I think that's probably going to be the first move where you see a team, i.e. two first-round draft picks, <laughs> you know, saying, hey, man, will you take 11? And we'll give you, you know, two first-rounders and you give us number four. Now, if they go, A, hey, if you see McCarthy, uh, Let's say they go McCarthy, uh, Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, and Drake May are all off the board in the top four. Okay? I'm going to give you guys a question here. Do you guys make a move to move up in the draft still to pick up either Bo Nix or Michael Penix, or do you stay at 13? Gunny, I'm going to start with you, bro. Man, I think we've talked about this. We've talked about this so much. I, 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 we need a quarterback, man. You know, I've been, I've been saying that the whole time. I think I'm with all in on this. Like, go get him. Go get your quarterback. Go get your guy. I know it's we've missed on way more draft picks in the past. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be. I'm, am I gonna be hurt if one of them dudes doesn't doesn't pan out for us? Yeah, but it's not like it's something I haven't seen before, man. I think you know right. if, if we're if we're in Vegas, if we're in Vegas, man, you got to roll the dice. You know, go get your guy. And if that's if that's Jaden Daniels, then go get him. You know what I mean? I to follow up on the thing. I don't know if I don't know if, if Caleb Williams drops one spot. I think I think uh, Washington grabs him real quick. So oh, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I think I don't see him falling past two. Yeah, although, fruit, although fruit, I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't there. want to play for the Bears. That's at least that's what I've been hearing that he does not want to play for the Bears. So, do you think a scenario like an Eli Manning shit could play out with him if the Bears do pick him? Yeah, do you see something like that happening where he forces the trade yeah. out of there. Of course, yeah, I, I could totally see that happening. You get a little swap going on. What was it, Eli Manning and um, Eli Manning? You know, and Philip, Rivers. Rivers. Philip Rivers, yeah. So I, I can see that happening, but with who? You know what I mean? Like, who are you going to yeah. trade Caleb Williams for? You know, you're going to go, hey, give me, give me Michael Penix later. Like, I don't know. That doesn't sound right to me. Drake May, uh, or something like that. You know, hey, you would have to have somebody you know, that's it's like the scenario. No. Mm-hmm. So many okay. scenarios, bro. So many. Yeah, I think the Bears are locked on taking old fruit pop, man, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Uh, and, and I think Jaden, I mean, unfortunately, as bad as we all want him, man, is going to go too. Yeah, so let me ask you this. Do you see any scenario right now where we can move up to one or two to pick up Jaden Daniels? I mean, like, nothing. I don't. You, I don't, man. Not if I mean they're going to have to be willing to move, and I don't, the Bears or the or the Skins aren't going to move off of that. Yeah, <clears throat> maybe maybe they like JJ and they move up to to three with New England and go get McCarthy or something. But I don't. They're going to have to love one of the other quarterbacks like they love Jaden. I've seen a scenario where we could actually move up with New England and give them a first round this year and a first round next year, and still have our two second rounds for both years. Uh, the one I saw included this year second too. Oh, did you? Yeah. That yeah. Might, maybe maybe it did. I just missed it, or I'm just not okay, remembering. Really but I mean, to move up to three from thirteen, it yeah, I can see it being this year and next year's pick and a second. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this: the what the only way that you move up to three would be like basically if you're saying, "Hey, uh, Jaden Daniels is there, that guy that you really like, right?" <laughs> oh, and you're saying, Jayden. "Hey." I've said it all along. They're moving up if Jaden's there. All They're right. going to sell the farm. Up if, if, if they want to go after Mc, you think they move up from McCarthy to number three? You think I we'd think do it's that? possible. If, if I, I think if they like him enough, man, and, and they and they really want to get, you know, a, a, AP said, you know, Aiden, it's got to run through Aiden, right? But it also he said, he's come out and said that, what do you need in a quarterback? And he said mobility. Right. Which Aiden doesn't have. Yeah, Aiden don't but he have. did specify on the mobility as well. He didn't say you have to be able to run, run, and like get out. He just said, he said mobility. No, he's be mobile. He said you got to be able like, to extend the plays. Exactly mm-hmm. in the pocket. So again, but I mean, like, Aiden can't do that. I, I like Aiden, man, and I. Yep. I, you know, I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be mad if we stuck with him, but he's got to be able to extend the plays, and that's not part of his game. That's, that's where I'm game. at, too, man. Like. I'm in the and same you don't boat pick that up now. in year two in the league. You ain't, you've never done it. You're not going to pick it up now. No. So uh, if we went with, so say we go with them, do you see us doing like any kind of package, like a, uh, like like kind of how they do in uh, New Orleans, like bringing in Minshew and like mix them honestly, out like that? I think if it become if it if it's <laughs> down to those two, Gardner's going to beat them out for the starting spot. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Minshew I led a top I, ten offense last year. They were one game away from being a playoff team. Uh, you know, like I said, that a top ten offense. He can extend the plays with his legs. Um, I mean, you get a little bit of Baker Mayfield action, right? He's going to turn the ball over, trying to win the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but I think at the end of the day, Minshew beats him out. Yeah, and I don't think it's close. Yeah, I, and I don't think it's close. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I think I, I agree with you there. I agree with you on that. Yeah, I think the only way Minshew doesn't start is if we draft a rookie in a top. Well, let's just say top five, right? You, you draft a guy yeah. there, he's gonna yeah, he's gonna he be got, the starter. Got, I don't give start. a fuck if you say he's you know oh we're gonna have a competition. Shut the fuck up, no we're not. Yeah. Oh no, a top a top five guy, no way. He's you're, you're gonna, gonna be the starter. All that draft capital to move up that far to set him on the he's bench. Well, starter. yeah. But I can and see I, McCarthy, and I. I you know, I said I, I like McCarthy, man. He's you know he's mobile when he's got to be. Uh, he he can throw the ball well. The kid's smart. He's young, and he's a team first guy. He's not a you know he's not a stat guy. The dude right. wants to win. Yeah, yeah. Did you uh, so a little bit on this subject? 
did you guys see fucking Mitchell Rents' retarded fucking move <laughs> for the number one draft pick to Chicago? I mean, I mean, like, dude, like, like when you're fucking saying trade Max Crosby, and I can see that, I'm like, dude, Mitchell, you're a fucking idiot. I like, yeah. I know that you're. I mean, like, dude, I, I love a nice guy, everything like that. Don't get me wrong. I be like, I don't know him personally. I've only seen him, but bro, where in your right mind do you go and you say you trade the leader of your defense, the leader no. of your team, the dude yeah. that got thirty motherfuckers in the gym right now, hey, working out, about this. getting ready for 40. next season. We forty have done that. Before. Forty. <laughs> yeah, we have done that before. You're right. Uh, you know, so, I mean, it's not like it's, it's something far fetched and off the wall. You know, no, it's something. No, no but it's completely I, I different. I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's stupid though. Stupid. Yeah, that's but, how you, uh, that's how you no, and, team I, right and off I think the bat. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to defend the guy because I don't know him too well. But I think that was something that was thrown out to him, so he threw it out there like, "Hey, what would this look like?" Right. Uh, I, I don't yeah, know. I think it was a Bears was. guy that actually proposed that trade. Like one of the guys that does like the Bears shit, like Mitchell yeah. Rins, that proposed that trade. And I think that's where he got that from. I think you're right, Allen. I'm, I'm not uh, a big you... fan of packaging players either, man. Good. I was like, you just you just created a fucking hole for yourself. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Carolina kind of fucked everybody last year, right? Was setting it was sending DJ Moore plus all the picks they sent. They sent a lot, mm-hmm. man, for yeah. that number one pick, and they fucked everybody in the process because now everybody expects, you know, a player plus fucking five picks or whatever stupid yeah. scenario it was. But here's the thing. There's teams willing to pay it. So that's why I get that people are willing to say it. But, I mean, like at the same time, I'm just saying, I, as a Raiders fan, okay, I don't, I, I wouldn't even bring that onto the show because right. I'm like, yo, literally, that ain't even getting past my front doorstep. I'm looking right. at it and I'm saying, Max Crosby, I don't know if y'all been listening, man. Like you said, 40 dudes, bro. We got 40 dudes working now yep. in the off season right now. Bro, yep. I don't know, but uh, if you guys know, but that shit is contagious and that shit is what championship teams are made of, bro. When people ain't freak, bro, people ain't looking and you're working and you got that many dogs working with each other, pushing each other on a daily basis, yeah. bro. Ooh, big time. We, well, that, and you don't go say that your your franchise guy is Max Crosby and then turn around and trade him. You know what I mean? Like, you're well, right. all around that guy. You don't turn around and trade him. You know, that's, Yo, that's stupid. I'm going to tell you something right here, bro. This dude, every dude that we have signed, he's calling them in and mm-hmm. interviewing them in the process to say whether he they are allowed in the locker room, homie. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, I mean, like, that just right there should tell you right there, hey, for you to mention that dude in the trade, shame on you because, hey, you, you're a retard, bro. You, you're literally sending the that, – that is the yeah. heart and soul of your team, man. It's like I mean, Josh like, said, man, it's clickbait. It's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> early April That's what it is. Yeah. No, that, that, well, he did that, he did that months yeah, ago. Yeah, that, that was a while yeah, ago. Yeah, I said it was early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, but, people just premature. run out of shit to talk about, man, and then they yeah. got they got to make up something, and then you know, the off season, man. We, we're getting Derek Carr back too. <laughs> yeah, I heard oh, that. Yeah, I heard that. that too. <laughs> <laughs> Who posted that? Yeah. that too. It was more Joe Morley who posted that shit today. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't worry. John Gruden is going to come back and be offensive coordinator for Antonio Pierce. Oh, yeah, just in case you guys didn't know, right after he became. Yeah. Yeah. Gets, gets, he don't work out. yeah, he's gonna be calling the freaking Zoom calls from Italy, making sure right. that he takes care of the offense in the off season. Yeah, <laughs> you've done that yeah. before, Will. <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you, <laughs> works like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the most difficult thing ever, bro. Sure, but like yo, <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, guys. Hey, so. Let's move on from that, and let's talk a little bit about this uh, this new drop, or what is it? Ban on the drop, drop. Hip drop tack, right? Hip drop. Yo, this is insane, fellas. I mean, like, this is something where I get it. We're trying to be – the NFL is trying to turn, like, the NBA, okay? They're trying to turn into a high scoring, like, get it once, but we're really getting out of the essence of the game now. 
I remember when less skilled teams, all they had to do was turn up the physicality and, you know what, make it into a slobber knocker. You might not be the prettiest, but you might pound it and you might get a win by three points. You might get a win by a point. Didn't matter. You know, now we're saying, hey, you know, you can't tackle a guy this way. Target zone is from here to here. I'll be like, Rough, if man. I'm five foot eight, if I'm a Meek Robertson, five foot eight, okay, and, and, and like 170 pounds soaking wet, and King Henry comes trotting me, you expect me to stay squared up to this dude and take this dude squared up and wrap myself around him and not like go to the side and tackle this dude I, I, guys this is one of the hardest things to officiate i want your guys' opinion hey yo maddie b let's start with you hit me up on your opinion on this rule it's it, kind of like rough in the passer rule almost you know it's like it's gonna be one of those calls where you're gonna say what the fuck man like that guy when you're yeah. in full speed okay it's when you're in full speed and you're going to tackle somebody like you said, you're a small guy. You're gonna—that's your fucking first instinct. That's what they teach you in fucking football. Drop low, grab him, stop his fucking legs from moving. Uh, what are you yeah. like? You said, hey, what are you gonna do now? You're gonna—you got, you might as well just throw a flag on him, dude, and fucking pull it. No, no, no. I got you, man. I got yeah. you. Yo, Gunny, thoughts? The way the way I understand this this tackle, if I was reading hey. it correctly, is basically when somebody's running past you or you're grabbing them from behind. And dropping your weight down to get them onto the ground, which is basically a fucking tackle. You know what I mean? So if you look at, I saw one time it was the, uh, it was the last play of the game with the the Rams, the Rams Super Bowl with the Titans. Remember where? Oh uh, yeah. I can't yeah. remember who it was that was that was about. He was like inches away from scoring. That was a hip drop. Yeah, tackle. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it a flag. Hip drop tackle. Fucking yeah, that's a, fi- that's a fifteen ended. yard penalty, and guess who gets? The, the they they get the ball back with one play left. I mean, you you're giving the game away, man. I I don't like it. Where they already took away shots to the head, which is fine, I guess. You know, I, they're already taking away big hits. Now you got to take away like an actual tackle. I mean, come on, man. You know, I I get it. I don't I don't like it at all. To be completely honest with you, I just don't know how these guys are going to make tackles. Because if the guy starts to run past you or you're parallel with a guy, and the only thing you can do is grab on and fucking drop down. I mean, what's the other option? Let him go. I mean, is, this, is this what we're looking at? We're letting him go. We're gonna let him let him run for a touchdown. I mean, like, what what do you yeah, do you there? Can't. How do you you're supposed to grab him from behind if they're running past you, man? Fucking what the fuck? exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, oh no, it's, you, it's, you it's, can't horse collar him. You can't yeah. horse collar him one, which I you get. Uh, horse collar is like, horse collar is pretty nasty. But right. come on, this is a this is a tackle we're talking about, man. This is a straight yeah. up tackle. It's you know, it's the it's the same tackle that Bo Jackson got fucked up on. Yeah, yeah, back in the in the eighties. Yeah. Same tackle. Yeah. But I mean <laughs> I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I can't we keep talking about stuff like that, but it's what else are you gonna do? I mean, I, I don't like it. It's I I am i have I've gotten away from the NBA a little bit just because of the way they changed they changed everything. You know what I mean? It's not as it's not as tough anymore, it's not as cool as it used to be and shit like that. I mean, yeah, no, you the NBA is boring, whack. But it's it's gotten <laughs> yeah. bad. It's a bad product. Now, to me, it's a bad product. I know people will dispute that, but to me, it's become a bad product. And the NFL is about to, they're on their way to becoming a bad product soon. No, yeah. I, 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 I 100% agree. agree. At this point, man, throw flags on them and just play seven on seven. I mean, what, yes. what are you supposed to do? Get mm-hmm. the, um, to the fucking Olympics. So. I completely <laughs> understand, like, why they're doing it, right? Because, uh, oh boy, this year, I think it was a tight end. <laughs> fucking got his legs caught up under him and ended his season. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, I mean, I get it, but at the same time, it, I mean, it's just what, what are you supposed to do? Yeah. You can't horse collar. Now you can't You can't use your weight to pull him down. You tackle him with the ankles, I, I don't, I'm sure that's a flag at some point. Well, and here's the thing, all right? Since we took away this tackle, now where do you think your target zone goes to, man? It goes to the knees. Mm-hmm. I mean, like for me, like yeah, literally, then they're gonna throw a low hit, that, and that <laughs> that's bro, that's the only thing that you can do now. I, right. If you think about it, for a guy that's over bigger than you, the only thing you can do now is basically go for the knees. I, I'm sorry yep. to say it, but you got to submarine the shit out of that dude, 
and, and that's all you got. Because if you can't yeah. wrap yourself around from the side and try to drag them down some way or get them, drag them down from behind or slow them up from behind, I'd be like, so what happens when the guy wraps around you and, you know, you're try- they're trying to run away and they're holding like this from behind? You know, you're like held on. Is that going to be a flag? You got to no, let go. Right. You got to let go. I don't. I don't know, man. I, I don't. I don't see I don't how this is gonna work out. I mean, just what, fucking let's have, let's have Max Crosby. Untuck the jersey. Let's have Max Crosby. Jersey like, pull him down. Get five minutes you know? pretty soon, man. Five minutes of because you know, you know that the trenches is that's just that's just dangerous too, man. You yeah. know, offensive linemen always that's getting dangerous. Always, always getting get rolled up on. Dude. Yeah, it's a fucking dangerous no, game. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I, this is what the craziest thing is for me, all right? Ever since we've been kids, we always been told that you play this game 100% balls to the wall because you never know when your last play or your last snap is going to be. Mm-hmm. We all know that playing this game brings injuries and that you can get hurt. That's a fact when you play football. It's not a, you know, that you're not going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt at one time. Mm-hmm. But people tell you, play this game and enjoy this game. Because you never know when it can be taken away from you. You know now, what it is. You... Oh, so go ahead. Go. But now, man, it's like this. They're taking away that essence of that game. Of saying, hey, you don't have to play 100%, man. You don't even have to give an effort on a tackle. Why would I give effort, man? If they're eliminating defense. They're eliminating, mm-hmm. you know, the physicality. The stuff that makes us want to watch it as fans for the past 50 years. Yep. You so know, this, this is why they do it is because they fucking pay all these fucking players fucking millions and millions of fucking dollars, and you know, they don't want to get hurt. They want to go out there and fucking play. Ha- I mean, look at the guys nowadays, man. You got guys that fucking play one snap. They turn around and go stand on the sideline for fucking twenty fucking minutes. You know what I mean? And then they come back. They they're babied, bro. They're babied. And that's Yo, what it I, all went down to, man. They pay them all these millions of dollars, and they cry about all this shit, and then they end up fucking. <laughs> but, you know, I, I haven't, like, oh, I haven't I heard that many players complaining like, about it though. I haven't yeah, heard anybody that? like supporting it. Have you heard the too many? I haven't heard that many players supporting it. No, I haven't heard mm. players supporting it. I'm talking about the fucking commissioner and all the fucking owners yeah. that fucking own these dudes. You know, they're they're all paying all these all millions of dollars. Players, and this owner is coming up with these rules. Yep. You know, if the players had their choice, they'd be out there fucking balls to the wall. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the owners are fucking babying these dudes so much. Like, look at Patrick Mahomes. You can't even tackle that dude. Nah, you know, he's $500 million. You're not going to fucking let that dude get tackled. Nobody in oh, there. Yeah, right we're now. fucked this year when we're playing him because they're going to be on it. Yeah, yeah they're going to yeah, be all on it. When we fucking hit him, he's going to be fucking, there's going to be a flag. You know, and it's going to be one of those, you can't touch a quarterback. If you get right there by the quarterback, you better fucking, you know what I you mean? Like, what, that's what turned down to. I, I guarantee you they'll have a lot of like you know, a lot of a lot too many plays this year that are going to be so fifty fifty, and this rule is going to be so controversial that it's gonna dude, it's gonna put it, it's gonna fuck the playoffs, bro. It's gonna fuck. I guarantee you this rule is gonna fuck with the playoffs, bro. I, I you know I I see um I see it's it's not gonna go well. I don't think to be honest, it's gonna be so like remember, remember remember the old fucking uh. Uh, when they were able to to throw throw a challenge flag for for pass interference, that shit that shit went over like spoiled milk, man. Like, well, now that, you can uh, now terrible. you can fucking challenge a fucking play. Like the, they they can go back and look at a play and see if it's a fucking like a, right. Like that's a new rule this year where they can go back if they throw a know. flag, they can go back and look at it to see if they want to pick the flag up. That I don't know. I didn't that, see that. I, I didn't see I, that. that. I haven't seen. I think I heard something like that on fucking the NFL they still network. Do that anyways. They already, they've been doing that. They just all they're yeah, doing they're, is getting, they're getting news well, from you can't, from, you can't from challenge York from like there. you can't like replay like you know like if they throw a flag you can't like certain plays you can't challenge those plays you know what I mean so I think that's I think that's one of the rules I'll, I'll check it out I'll get back with you guys on that I'm not a hundred percent but I'm pretty sure that was a rule that was changed this year. Where they can go so, back if they think there was a flag thrown, they can go back and look at it and pick that flag up. Yeah, that that might be. Well, hey, next pod, bring it back. See, we'll get some more info on that. Yeah, I'll get but, some yo, more info on that. So check this out, guys. So let's get to the last part of the show. Okay, now we're going to talk about the kickoff rule. 
Guys, it looks like the NFL is trying to bring the kickoff back with the XFL, UFL rules now, right? Where the guys stand like 10 yards away from each other at the, what, 20-yard line or 30-yard line? Mm-hmm. That's correct. Like that. and, and there's a kick safety zone and a, and a kicker zone. I, I don't know the, all the exact thematics, but I mean, like, it looks like they're trying to bring it back. Usually, like, if you look at the stats, about 97% of kicks in the XFL, UFL are being brought back. You know, right now in the NFL, it's about 22%. So, obviously, yeah. that part of the game has died out. They're trying to bring back the Devin Hesters. Gunny, thoughts? I, I thought about this. I, I When I first read it, I was like, man, these guys are fucking killing this game, right? But <laughs> they already killed it with the with the kickoff. When they started kicking that ball from the, the 35 instead of the 20, it was the 25. No, they started kicking it from the, they kicked from the 30 now instead of the 25 or whatever it was, right? Yeah. So it's everything 35, goes, yeah. There you go. Everything goes out of the end zone. Nobody's returning kicks, so it was like it's a it's a wasted play, you know. It's like you might as well just give them the ball on the twenty five yard line and let them rock, you know. Now yeah. I guess we'll have some sort of return, which is I guess better than than no return because we weren't getting any kind of returns. And I love the fucking kickoff return, man. That was one of my favorite parts of football before they fucking ruined it. You know what I mean? So yeah, no, I agree, bro. I mean, kickoff return, kickoff, bro. That has to be. One of the most accelerating plays back in the day when you were watching it and when you were actually on the field doing it. Because you're just mm-hmm. running 100%. Balls to the ball, to the ball. They yep. say, run <laughs> to the ball. Now they got to fix I, that, is, that. I guess this is a fix, right? So I, I don't know. We'll see how this one works out. I don't, I don't mind this one because they're trying to do something better than what they got now. But, man, just you should have just left kickoffs the way it were, bro. No, no. I, I 100% agree. I wouldn't have changed the thing, but you know how it is. It's just like Matt said. Mm-hmm. Owners are always trying to switch things up so that way, you know what, they get the most value for their players, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. But, hey, all in. Thoughts on the new kickoff rule? Yeah, I'm with Gunny, man. I, you know, it's – it's uh, they're just trying to bring that aspect back to the game. And I had heard it when I watched a few of the XFL games last year. They were talking about the NFL was going to – they were going to test it out for the NFL. So the NFL has been working with them for a little while on it, at least back to last season. We'll see how it goes. All right. I, I get I get why they're putting the players closer together, right, you know, and then not letting them start yeah, moving until the ball is caught. Yeah, yeah, it's less the, the violent collision. Uh, ah, we'll see how it goes, man. Hopefully it, hopefully it does lead to more returns. Some no, game changing plays. You got no, like sir. a kicking zone or something like that. You got to be in when yeah, you kick it. Yeah, that I'm not sure. So, I'm a fan of all that, man. Like, yeah, like you can't. If it goes it in the end zone, it is what it is. Yeah, it, well, you can't. I mean, that's you a rule anyway. The 35 or the 40 yard line, if you kick it out of the end zone or out of bounds or something like that, like. Well, out of bounds has always been at the 40. Yeah, so, out of bounds I, I mean, is at the 40. But out of bounds has always been if, a harsh one. If it goes into the end zone, it is what it is, man. I mean, hell, why not just let what Carlson was doing back in 21, you know, prop the ball up on the tee and have somebody hold it and get some air on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, that's actually – so. No, nah, they won't do no, that. Thanks. Time, yeah, so. thanks. Thanks, Pat McAfee, for putting us on blast. <laughs> <laughs> he did. That's what happened. He was he, – he, he talked about it after one of our yeah. games, and then the commissioner came out and said, hey, no more. Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah, we did it for like three or four games, man, with no problem. Yeah, yeah, and none of them were going to the, none of them were touchbacks. They were all fucking either fair caught or fucking so they were, returned. They were saying something about last year there was two thousand touchbacks total compared to three hundred fucking like returns. And wow. that's for, yeah. oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, and then like from like when they when they changed the kickoff, like Dunny was saying, when they changed that kickoff. It fucked everything up. Like they have seen way more touchbacks since then than ever before. So no, yeah, it's like, not a factor. Like there's no return. It's not a part of the game. Yeah, it's it's but, fucking crazy. So bad. You just stop fucking with the integrity of the game, man. So your thoughts on the new rule? Me? Nah. Yeah. No. Huh. I, 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 like I just said, I think it's fucking. 
<laughs> I mean, it's all right, I guess. We'll see how it goes, you know. I mean, it's it's new, you know. It's nobody's I mean, unless you watch XFL and shit like that, then you know it's gonna be new for a lot of people. Yeah. You're probably gonna have a lot of people calling you up being like, What the fuck are they doing? Like, what the hell are they doing? You know, there's gonna be people that don't know about it. They're gonna be like, What the fuck? Go watch them and like it. educate yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I saw it last year with the XFL. It wasn't that. Yeah. To be honest, completely honest with you, it's not like it's fucking like exciting shit or anything like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it, it just, just yeah. doesn't. You know, you, there's not a much head of steam. It's, it, it's, it's not even as good as a punt. I, I don't know, man. It's, it's not my favorite. Well, but how much it, do they it, average on like a kickoff return though? Like, what's it? Do you guys know? Like, I've never yeah. like watched the XFL and shit, so I don't really know too much about it, like how it goes. So. so it's all the, the UFL the now. It was, it was yeah, very, UFL now. It was very eh. You know what I mean? Like, oh, cool. Like, look, they're, they're doing something different, right? But so my understanding that, is, like, you got your come out of you, you have like your line in the front, right? They're five yards away, and then you have two returners in the back, right? And then you got to kick to a returner, and they can like pitch the ball back and forth as long as it's a backwards pass. Kind of like you know, right, which, whatever. So what do we I do mean, now? yeah, that's just normal. Yeah, so it, it, and then you're just trying to get past. Once you, they said something like, once you get past the first part of the line, it's pretty much like touchdown after that, you know. So that's why they're looking yeah. for like Courtney Pattersons and shit like that to fucking play these yeah. positions. They're but, just looking to change it up a little bit, man. Get another, get the, get that aspect back into the game because it's a non-factor. Yeah, exactly. Man, they, don't, they, don't got, they don't even have returners anymore, man. Do we even? Is there such a thing as a good returner these days? There isn't. No, no. Since Devin Hester. Yeah, there's yeah. no such thing as that anymore. Hey, so. the last guy that I remember uh, that was actually a decent returner huh? was the guy that got rocked by McAfee for the Broncos. That little guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, you know, hey, you know, Cordell Patterson's probably the best one that I've seen lately. You know, out of every, all yeah. the players, I think Cordell yeah. Patterson's probably the best returner out of the league he right can now. Still do it. He and can I don't still even do think it. he's returning kicks anymore. Uh, nope. So they had him on this like this. I think they called him a joker last year. Is what they had him like listed as. So like he was like a running back returner, like fullback or something like that. Like he played all different kinds of shit. I think they even had him on a defense at one point. Like they they mixed him around at the with the Falcons. Like they fucking had him all over the field. And so yeah, I don't know. Like, he does all kinds of shit. He's just an athlete, bro. That yeah, dude, you yeah. can put him at wide receiver. You can put him at running back. It doesn't matter. He's gonna make shit happen. I wish we still would have kept that dude. Right. No, no. I mean, like to do that. That is a dude, bro. Like you can put him anywhere. You can come. Hey, go return kicks. He might make it happen. You put him at receiver. He might make it happen. Fuck, he'll run the rock for you twenty to thirty times and be like, yeah, he sure did. Sure. So I be mean, like, at the end of the day, the dude is a playmaker, and I'm with you guys. I think, yo, this whole new rule is to bring back special teams. Now it's just like Matt said. I mean, like, it's basically if you get past that first line and you hit the crease, it's go time. I mean, like, yeah, you're, you're just racing. Hey, so and, I mean, but you can't tackle him from behind if he gets past you, so you got to let right. him score. <laughs> I'll chase him down. <laughs> I'll try to chase him down. Yeah. Again, <laughs> you got to get all the way in front of him and then turn around and face him and then hit him. <laughs> That's right. You got to be a lot faster so you can get in front. Yeah, and wait, wait until we see somebody just kick somebody's ankles and they fucking trip, right? Yeah, right. hey, I'm down with that, bro. Just give him oh, the, old, I, the old, the old, the grade school trip from behind. Nobody's yeah. landing on him. Yeah. Nobody's <laughs> landing on him, dude. And I do it all the time to my workers, so I know uh, it don't break your ankles. That's right. Yeah, I do it. <laughs> hey, I do right. it to my kids, so we're good. Yeah. Is tripping so cheating, trade, baby? I'd be like, hey, could, I mean, like, is tripping a foul? I'd be like, a penalty. It is. I, yeah. I've never seen yeah. Jeff. <laughs> is it? I mean, like, yeah, it is. That because I'd be like, bro, that's how you're gonna have to tackle. You're gonna have to like grab their feet, like dive at their feet, and yeah. grab it from yeah. behind. You're not no longer gonna be able to like wrap up from behind. So you're just gonna be gra- like like no, diving at hamstrings. Roethlisberger shoestring tackles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, no, I, I'm there with you guys. All right, y'all. So hey, do y'all got anything more for today? Nope. I'm on draft and schedule release. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. Really, honestly, I'm more juiced for the schedule release. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to plan my games, man. Yes, I'm scared, sir. I'm scared of the draft, yeah. man. I'm, I, I got, 
I got draft PTSD, bro. I don't even want to see it, to be honest with you. I just want to see the results. You know what I mean? I just want to see the results, bro. Gunning is going to start the drinking on Thursday, turn off the TV, <laughs> and then on Saturday when it's all done, he's going to like be like, yeah. look, shit. When I, when I finally come off the bender, I'll be like, oh, okay. All right, that worked out. Yeah. Or fuck, yeah, exactly. that didn't work out at all. <laughs> or he's like, a good start to my weekend. But, yeah, yo. Man. All right, fellas. Hey, I want to thank you all for coming on the show. You guys know. Hey, it's the Silver and Black Radio Podcast family, baby. And it's all about one team, one nation. It's all about the Rangers. Let's go.